Hello, Earth citizens. In this video, I will show you a 10 minute routine to help train your mind to connect to your body. Do you sometimes feel like your mind and body are disconnected? Like your mind is running a million miles per hour in every direction, but your body is here and can't keep up with your mind. Many people, especially ones who are prone to a lot of thinking, overthinking, experience this disconnection, mind and body. And this disconnection can cause feelings like anxiety, depression, uh, nervousness, imbalance, frustration, all of those really come from your mind and body disconnected. So today we're gonna train your mind to stay connected to your body. Now I say train because it takes practice. Your mind connecting to your body, think of it as like a muscle. If you just work out your arms for one day, you're not gonna all of a sudden be poof in one day, right? With consistent practice of lifting weights every single day, you will see your muscles grow, 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 grow until you get it the way they, that you want. So same thing with your mind as well. Just because we do this one time, don't expect that all of a sudden now I have great mind-body connection and then I'm good, I don't need to practice ever again. That is not true. You need to practice this consistently and I will share with you some principles and tips on how to train your mind to stay in your body. So first of all, the most important place that your mind should reside is in your core. The term core gets used a lot in exercise and meditation and anywhere in between exercise and meditation. A lot of people talk about the core and that's because your core is the energy center of your body. So it's two inches below your navel. Find your belly button. My belly button's right here. Think of the place two inches below and then two inches inside so it's in the middle of your body not on the surface skin inside and now we're going to tap this point using our fists so i suggest making a number four rolling your fingers and using the pinky side to gently tap here and the reason for the tapping is because to bring your mind to a certain place in your body, you have to give it stimulation. So for example, if someone hit your arm like this, your mind goes here because it was just stimulated. Same thing. When you stimulate your core by tapping, don't think of it as punching or hitting. That's not the intention. Tapping. Have the intention of tapping your core and your mind will start to gather here because simple fact of energy principle, energy science, where your mind goes, energy follows. Where your mind goes, energy follows. And your mind goes where you stimulate it. If your mind is constantly outside, it's because you're so stimulated by what's going on outside of you. Flashing lights, pretty people, delicious food, those all pull your mind away from your body. So now, close your eyes. So you can focus on you, don't focus on me, focus on you. I'll just guide you through this exercise. Keep tapping your core, that one spot. One spot, not two side by side, one spot. Alternating one spot, two inches below your navel and two inches inside. And now in that point with your mind's eye, with your eyes closed and your mind's eye, imagine a point. Draw a point two inches below your navel and two inches inside. Focus your mind on that point. The point that you are tapping directly above. And now your goal for the next few minutes is to focus only on this point. Your mind, pull it all the way in and visualize a point, a bright red dot, two inches below your navel, two inches inside, and let your mind stay there. Now I know it's not easy because you will have lots of thoughts come in and out of your body. That's okay. When the thoughts come, when the emotions come, just let them be. 
you just focus, laser focus your mind into that red dot. That red dot two inches below your navel and two inches inside. In your mind, visualize a red dot, red dot inside of your navel. As if your third eye, your mind's eye, is looking into your core and watching your core. Take note of how easy or difficult it is for your mind to stay, remain in that one single red point. However easy or difficult it is for your mind to stay there, that is the condition of your mind. That is your condition of your mind-body connection. Stay there, stay on the point. The red dot, two inches below your navel, two inches inside. Focus your mind, visualize in your brain that single point. Like your internal eye is staring into your abdomen, into that point. Keep trying. Even though you feel your mind keep going out, keep trying, keep pulling it back. Keep pulling it back. This is a muscle you have to develop. It won't be perfect with just one time practice. Stay there, red dot, red dot. And now as you focus your mind on that dot, you might feel some tension come up in your neck and shoulders. You might feel some tension coming up in your neck and shoulders. Let's shake our head side to side. Shake your head side to side to loosen up the tension in your neck and shoulders. Try to eliminate as much physical pain that can distract you from focusing on that point. Even though your neck is shaking side to side, even though your head is shaking side to side, your mind's eye, your third eye, is laser focused, watching, looking inside into that red dot in your core. One more minute. One more minute. 60 seconds. Solely focus on that red dot inside of your core, two inches below, two inches inside. Relax your body as much as possible. When your body is relaxed, your brain will relax. When your brain is relaxed, it will be able to focus better. Relax, relax, relax. Red dot, red dot, red dot. Two inches below your navel, two inches inside, in your core, in the center of your body. A red dot floating in the center of your body, in your abdomen. Thirty seconds. And stop. Rest your hands on your knees. Keep your eyes closed. Keep your mind looking inside into that red dot in your core. Imagine a bright red dot floating in the center of your body and your abdomen, two inches below your navel, two inches inside. Can you visualize that red dot well? How did you do? Stay connected to that feeling, that visualization. And with your eyes closed, reflect on how it went for you. Was it easy? Was it difficult? What thoughts kept coming into you? What emotions kept coming up? Were you able to even visualize the red dot? Are you able to see your mind-body connection clearly? 
Take some time to reflect on the experience for yourself. And now slowly open your eyes. How did you do? Was it easy? Was it difficult? For some people, it may be pretty easy. For some people, it may be pretty difficult. The condition of your mind-body connection is totally reflective of how easy or difficult it was. But don't worry, it's natural for thoughts and emotions to come up. That's totally okay. You don't need to try to eliminate the thoughts. You don't need to try to eliminate the emotions. Just let them be. But you just focus on what you need to do. Even though there's distractions coming by, you just focus on what you need to do. And when you try and practice this every single day, you will feel and see that it will become easier to practice that mind-body connection like this. So that's what we practice. By focusing on that single red dot, your mind looking into your body, you are building a bridge between mind and body to connect this way. Just like lifting weights to build muscles, it takes practice. Every single day you'll see your mind-body muscle becoming bigger and bigger, stronger and stronger until it becomes so easy to focus inside into yourself. If you feel disconnected mind and body a lot, you need to do this more frequently. You did a great job. To experience a full one-hour brain education-based class, please visit a local body and brain yoga studio near you.